Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is David and today I'm going to give you a quick overview of products within Kajabi and excuse my squinting because it's a little sunny today. So if you watch the screen, we're going to go over to the products on the left hand side and you see I have a few here already built out in the right top of the right hand corner. There's that new product button. So if we click that, we're going to see what Kajabi calls blueprints. And over here, there are about six blueprints you can start from, plus a blank one. And so just kind of walking through these, there's the community, which is basically Kajabi's version of the Facebook group. A few different form formulas or formats for how they shape their courses. So if A, you have a mini course, B, you have a full online course, and then evergreen training. All three of these basically use the same format and this is one of the formats I'm going to show you because it's very intuitive, very you know user friendly to use. If we scroll down, this is probably what Kajabi is known for, their membership program design, and then finally a coaching program. And so just to give you an idea of what it looks like inside to build a product, I'm going to go through a course and a community just to show you what they look like. The membership and coaching program um, have similar features. They're a lot more built out. So if you want me to do a video just on those options, go ahead and leave a comment below. Now let's go ahead and jump over to my products. You can see that I have three right here. Now I'm still moving everything from my old accounts onto this one. And so that's why you see, you know, no members or anything. So I'm just going to go in and show you like the basic format of what you can build. So I go to the second one, the sell your book course. You're going to see kind of a basic outline of this is all stuff they put in when you start. So they, you know, don't let you start from scratch. Just give you an idea of what they expect to see in a full out course. So on the right here, you can upload like pictures and at the bottom here where there's the pricing, um, this corresponds to whatever offers you've linked to the product. So in the next video I do in this like tutorial series, I'm going to talk about offers specifically because again, there's a lot you can do with them. But for this, I just want to focus on what you can actually do within a product and specifically the online course product. So as you see here, each one of these is called a category. So if we go like product outline right at the top here and click the plus, it'll say create category. So if we do that, we can do category number six test and let's hit save and you'll see it pop up at the bottom here and then we can add new posts. And so those would be like the individual modules or videos within your course. So let's call it video one and then video two, just so you can see how easy it is. And then a cool thing, especially if you're building out like a really large course, you can add subcategories within each category. So I'm going to go ahead and add a subcategory and let's say this is, you know, part B of and part B of category six, Ooh. hit save. And then you see below it, you can start adding additional things. And like a lot of things with the Kajabi setup, you see you can drag and drop, move things around. We can put video two under the part B, part B of category six. And so you can see it's very simple to use. You can move things around. Now let me go ahead and jump inside one of these like little modules so you can see what's inside. Similar to how they have their blog post set up, at the top here you can add a video or assessment. Assessment is their version of quizzes or online testing. And the cool thing is that you can attach automations to the assessment. So let's say they, if they get a certain score, then they get an email or they unlock a new module in the course. There's a lot of like little things you can do like that. Um, poster image is the first thing they'll see when they click on that module. You can also just let that default to the video thumbnail or things like that. Downloads on the right side here and whether or not you want comments. I usually allow comments in my modules. Um, I feel like that just adds a cool dimension to the course overall. The middle here is basically a blog post. Um, you can add as much or as little text as you want. I will show you what it looks like on the other side so that you can see whether or not that's something you want to do. I try not to add too much text because I want my I want my students to move through the course pretty quickly. And so you can see this is where the video would play on the right side here. They can move through the different modules without like seeing everything at once. 
And then again, they can mark it as complete once they're done and then jump over to the next lesson. And up here at this top part, they can navigate through all the different categories. Let's say we went to the main course home. And so again, this is just a very like basic outline. I haven't done anything yet, but it would be the name of the course at the top, how far they've progressed through the, through the whole course. At the bottom here, your instructor name and whatever bio you want. Again, like this is similar to when I talked about constructing your website. On the right side here, you can add a whole bunch of different modules or blocks for whatever you want, like additional assessments or links to a private Facebook group, things like that. And then in the center here, this is where you see the core of the course. So every different category, the different lessons within, and then the subcategories as you add them. One thing to note is that you can change the way this center looks. So you can just show the categories or choose how much or how little the student sees immediately. So, you know, if you have a big course and are overwhelmed by all 100 lessons showing up at once. And another thing is that you can have the drip content option on. So if you don't want everything to show all at once, but maybe space it out on a weekly or bi-weekly or monthly basis, you have that option too. So a lot of this that you see is completely customizable. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and jump back to the admin so I can show you what the community looks like. So again, that format that I showed you for constructing a course and categories and posts within each course, that applies to a lot of the products within Kajabi. So it's all very similar and very intuitive. Even the membership community has elements of that. Now, if we jump to the community itself, this is a newer feature that Kajabi added within the last year or so. And so this is very much intended to replace a Facebook group. So you know, the idea is that if you have a membership community or if you have a course and you want people to stay in your realm or on this platform as long as possible, then this is an additional product you could add on for them. So if I go to the community, I'll show you what it looks like and then how you can build it out. You see, it's very similar. There's a main feed. You can customize all this. This is like the hero. On the side, you can add whatever blocks you like. And then if you go to topics, this is how you can make it look more like an old school forum. You have the ability to add different topics and then within each one you can write posts and then comment on each other's posts. You can select whether or not you wanna get emailed or follow certain posts. There's just a lot of different options you can do with the community product. And again, this is just a little preview of it. So if I go back to admin again, you can see that adding a topic is very simple. We can just write topic three real quick description well let's make that right <laughs> and then it just gets added on to the bottom there again you can add an offer directly within this product and it's real simple again very intuitive so if I jump back to this main page now and just go to the new product tab again you can see all the different blueprints you have so again if you wanted to look at the membership or the coaching program or the evergreen in more detail just leave me a comment and i can do that but i think looking at the course structure and the community structure gives you a pretty good idea of how kajabi works and whether it might be a good tool for you personally i love it much better than the tools i've used in the past such as teachable it has really allowed me to pretty much do whatever i wanted with my course and the options are there to build it in so that's been super helpful and knowing that my course and website and funnels are all again within one platform has made this whole process so easy and saved me so so much time which is why I'm trying to make these tutorial videos just to help people see what they could build and what they could do with the Kajabi platform so again my name is David I hope you found this useful if you did go ahead and like and subscribe below in a few days I'll be posting the offers video where you'll get to see how you create an offer attach it to the products and then all the other creative things you can do with that option so again thank you for watching I'll see you next time